Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona career mode series. Again, just like last week, sorry if I look and sound a little rough. We were at a hockey game pretty late last night and uh, I'm, I'm still half asleep. But we're gonna power through. We're gonna run some Dirt to Daytona. So hopping into the schedule, it's time for the last race of October and we're gonna be running North Carolina Speedway. I believe this was the second race of the year and after how disastrous Daytona was, I was uh, All clear. very worried. I don't know if I actually made any setup changes when I was here before. So this will be interesting to see with all the upgrades we have in the car, how bad it is. Oh. Hmm. Let's try that again. I definitely do not remember like the lift points and stuff. <laughs> and uh, I'd say probably part of the reason I got run over is uh, I lifted a little early. Also, it looked like we were hitting the uh, shift light way early on the front stretch so definitely gonna need to make some changes that is for Clear. sure Clear low. oh yeah definitely too short of a gear to get around here besides the uh gearing problem the car setup actually seems pretty solid the car isn't like you know, super tight in the corners. It's not super loose off the corners. So I think if we adjust the gear a little bit, I think we'll be all right. All right, so I adjusted that uh, gear ratio by a couple all clicks. I was, oh, wow. He just... <laughs> There's a wreck in turn one. I'm sure Sterling's fine. But yeah, I adjusted the gear by a couple clicks. I took off a little bit of grill tape because after just a couple laps, it was up to like 215-ish. So um, probably some of that too was the fact that I was getting up, you know, high in the RPMs. So um, I might put the grill tape back. Don't know for sure. Oh yeah, Sterling made it back to the pits. He's fine. The car seems to turn really well. I'm quite happy with uh, <laughs> with the car oh, setup right now. I'm sure I'm, you know, tearing through the tires or something, but the car feels really good. Oh yeah, right front is definitely warm. That's okay though. Everything's fine. I think it's time to qualify. 24-0. We're definitely not that fast. I think that was a pretty good exit. We should have a pretty solid lap, I think. We're fine. Everything's fine. Probably won't be the prettiest lap, but should be all right. All right. Yeah, we were at three tenths off of our best lap. Car definitely takes a couple laps to kind of come in, but at least we didn't, you know, wreck like last week. Well, um. 12th place is not too bad, I'd say. I definitely did not expect to be starting that well, especially with the lap not being as it as, as good as it could have been, but 
All right. I guess it's time for uh, Alan to tell us all about Rockingham. Under beautiful Carolina blue skies, welcome to the North Carolina Speedway, also known as The Rock. This one mile oval has been thrilling fans for over 30 years. With 22 degrees of banking and a tough on tire surface, you get fierce competition that gives The Rock its name. Thanks, Alan. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. So, 51 laps, I think we have, yeah, 20 laps of fuel. So, two pit stops unless we can save five laps of fuel per run, which I don't see that happening. But we will see how things shake out. Oh, why, why are we getting squirrely? See, the car doesn't do that in practice, so I think we're fine. And then as soon as I get into the race, the car acts completely differently. I love that about this game. Carlo. Clear low. Carlo. Absolutely love it. Kevin. Still there. All clear. Oh, he's fine. Carlo. Still there. Even with the damage, we seem to be I wouldn't clear. say fast, but clear high. We're we're drivable. <laughs> so we should be able to get some of our spots back that we lost but it'll be interesting to see how this race plays out especially if we're sliding and stuff because we are not going to be able to uh <laughs> save any even if we can save fuel we're probably not going to be able to save tire to run long Yeah, see, we're getting super loose when we let off the gas, which it was not doing in practice. I don't like that. I guess I'm gonna have to just enter high so that if it kind of breaks left, I'm not hitting the apron. Oh no. We're fine. Yep, we're fine. Everything's fine. No need to throw a yellow NASCAR. All is well. This game never ceases to amaze me. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna pit. Um, 
car is out. The car is great. No problems at all. Yikes. It's certainly going to be interesting to see who pits and who doesn't because you'll definitely have to pit at least once more after this cycle but depending on what fuel mileage they get they might think they could just make it on one stop anyways and if they pit now they'd still have to stop so i'm interested to see how it goes so it looks like probably only six or seven cars are pitting so yeah definitely most of the field doesn't think it's worth pitting but obviously with all the damage we have <laughs> and how torn up the tires were we definitely needed to pit surprisingly we didn't really move too far backwards i'm guessing there was probably already quite a few cars a lap down so that would make sense But yeah, with 38 laps to go, assuming the tires can hold up for a fuel run, we're still going to have to pit once more. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car high. All right. So we are 36 laps to go. We're in 31st place. I made a couple little adjustments with uh, air pressure and wedge, but didn't really do a whole lot to the car. Still there. I'm going to try not to run into anyone, because I'd like to not destroy the car again. Stay high. Still there. I, I'm so bad at this. This is ridiculous. Why are we downshifting? Do not do that. Still there. Oh no. Clear he's, eye. he's fine. He's good. He'll, he'll walk it off. Alright. Well, we're gonna pit again. Alrighty then. I love this game. Alright, today's question of the day. What was the best race, NASCAR or otherwise, that you ever attended in person? I'm honestly trying to think what the best race I've attended in person is. Because this year I went to the Daytona races. Last year I went to... Oh, and I went to Texas this year. Forgot about that one. Last year I went to Homestead, Atlanta, and Daytona. Honestly, the Daytona summer race for Xfinity last year with Allgaier and, uh, and Creed, you know, that photo finish was pretty sweet. But yeah. Out of all the races you've ever been to, what was the what was the best one? Let me know down below. Looks like the bucket heads picked us up some spots on pit road, so that's pretty sweet. So we're on the same fuel strategy as the rest of the field right now. So it will be interesting to see how the rest of the race plays out. Again, all that goes out the window when I crash someone every five laps, so we'll see how it goes. Get set. There's the green flag. Car high. Car high. Car high. Oh, come on! Why 
Why out. is this car, this car so out. bad? <laughs> I start the slide, so I turn right and obviously just overcorrected it. So bad. <laughs> oh, I love this game. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Still there. Car high. So we have 27 laps to go now. You're all clear. Why? All clear. Why? I really thought, three. I really thought in practice that this setup was going to be good. I didn't think, you know, like race winning car or anything, but I thought the car would drive well. Silly me. Also, they are driving like me up there. What's wrong with you people? Okay, that's the halfway mark. So the first half, we've had three cautions, which were all directly caused by me. Let's see if uh, we can try to clean that up in the second all half. Car low. As I run into someone. Stay high. Still there. All clear. Hold your line. Clear high. Still there. Carlo. Oh, come on. We're fine. Carlo. All clear. Thank you. Clear Something happened to Elliot? He was really slow through All the corner. Alright, we have somehow made it up to the top 20. And the car is in relatively one piece. And the tires aren't on fire yet, so I'd say this is probably the best run we've had going so far. I can't wait to mess it up. Still there. All clear. All clear. So we are seven laps short on fuel as we run right now. Still there. I cannot imagine being able to save that. <laughs> so unfortunately, I think the plan is run hard, hope for a caution, <laughs> and uh, see what happens. There's our caution, and I didn't do this one. It wasn't my fault this time, guys. There's the green flag. Car high. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stay low. Still there. Car high. All clear. 
Car high. Clear We're low. good. We're good. Three wide. We're Clear good. Low. Everything's fine. No Turn yellow. On. Keep it green. The yellow's out. Man. Eight I'm gonna have to hit again. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, we just... <laughs> we just put Ward in a home. The race is going green. Turn one. There's the green flag. Turn one? We're not even in turn one yet. Car high. What's he yapping about now? Stay low. Still there. Car low. Clear high. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> There's races where, like, oh, yeah, I'm pretty good Still at there. this game. And then there's races like this one, where I'm like, I am so bad. Why are you guys watching? Clear high. There's a spin in turn one. Like, there's no way my team hasn't replaced every part on the car at this point. Like, it's so bad. We've wrecked so many times. Halo, still there. Car high. Why are Clear we downshifting to third? Ward, what are you still doing? There. Oh, come on. Clear low. Oh cool, the car is starting to overheat as well. I love this. I love this game. I'm so good at racing. Everything's fine. Sorry. That was expected. Welp, time to pit again. All right, standing starts. Let's go. Carlo. Oh, guys, what are we doing? Still there. You're all clear. There. All clear. He's he's clear fine. Out. Oh my gosh. There's a spin in turn one. There sure is. You're all clear. Give me more Take spots. Give me more spots. Dang it. Well hey, we don't have to pit this time, I don't Yeah, we're fine. We don't even have to pit this time. Oh also. For you guys that watched the Martinsville Cup race this weekend, what did you think of Christopher Bell getting penalized for wall riding? I think he did not do anything close to what Chastain did, so that penalty was BS, but let me know what you think. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Clear high. Five laps to go. Car high. there all clear come on go fast Carlo. rusty what are you doing the gas pedal is the one on the right there's spin in turn three. All clear. no there's not Carlo. everything's clear. fine clear low. So we have somehow made it up into the top 15. Now, I don't think we're going to get any more spots because there's only three laps to go. But, man. 
what a uh, what a crap shoot of a day. going to be really bad for a moment, but we're fine. Last lap. All right, I guess the car just decided not to turn anymore. That's cool. We started 12. What a day. That was, uh, that was interesting from start to finish. That is for sure. Yeah, seven cautions. Not my prettiest race, that's for sure. <laughs> so there's a look at the points scored today. Looks like Mark Martin and Sterling Marlin led the most laps. But Tony Stewart got the win. Now it's time to see what kind of money we made. Look at that, $111,000. For how bad <laughs> we wrecked this car 15 different times? Not bad. So here is an updated look at the points. We're still sitting 21st. Put a little bit of distance between us and Elliot Sadler. But we've still got, I think with two races left, we're like 161 points behind Andretti. So we would have to have two really good races and him have two really bad races to make it to the top 20. But who knows? Crazier things have happened. Well, friends, that's going to do it for another episode. I want to say a big thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment if you've got anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.